Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. This is episode 11.2, and we are going to carry on our building session at the Red Rocket gas station. So, yeah, thank you to everyone who tuned in and watched 11.1. I, uh, yeah, I must admit when I was uploading it, I paused for a second because I saw how long the video was and yeah, I knew that we'd, uh, we'd spent a bit of time or I'd spent a bit of time, sorry, trying to get things to work. And I just thought, I don't know if this is going to be well received. And then the first few comments came in and it was mainly people who don't really like build mode. Um, and I was thinking, oh gosh, here we go. This is going to be a... An interesting reception but yeah uh, the vast majority of you um, seem to have really enjoyed it which is yeah really uh, uh, really pleasing to see because this is my actual my actual uh, first build like this I've obviously attempted some sort of minor building at uh, sanctuary but yeah this is the first first full sort of settlement where I've actually tried to enclose everything off so yeah, it was a uh, yeah. It's pleasing that it's been well received anyway. So what we're going to be doing in this session is we're going to start out by probably doing power, or I might actually add a few stores in because I did say at the end of the last episode I might flesh this area out a little bit. So I think what I might do is add maybe some sec a section down here that's got some stores in it, and then we will do power. And then, yeah, finally it will decorate uh, and then we'll be done. Then we can start getting some settlers in. So uh, what I did do after I finished the last episode is I just filled these in. So if you remember, these were open. Uh, so these are now sort, sort of semi-boxed in. These at least. These are boxed in. Although I'm not really a fan of... I mean, what is this? I need to... Uh, yeah, I need to download delete anything or whatever it's called delete everything i think and maybe remove some of these bushes that are in the way like this one here is just like killing the vibe okay, yeah so they're enclosed off and then what i've also done is uh, i opened this up similar to how i've done the last one so putting in the lower fences so at least the turrets actually got better visibility I don't really know how this is going to play out, by the way, when I get attacked. Um, I'm going to assume that... Uh, I tried to get on there then. Rubbish at parkour. I'm going to assume that enemies are going to spawn inside the walls. Which, to be honest, I'm not really... I'm okay with that. I think the wall... I've said to a few people in the comments, the walls are as much about the aesthetic of this place than functionality. I just wanted to... I just had in my head that I wanted to wall it off and that's what we've done so yeah uh, right so let's get into yeah let's get into build mode so I've not really done anything with stores yet even at the Gosh, there's a lot, isn't the clothing clinic, food and drink, weapons, armor, trader. Yeah, I haven't built any of these at any, anywhere yet. So we've got trading stands. I'm assuming is that like first, first level. Shop, I'm assuming is second level. And then Emporium. I can't build Emporium yet. Uh, okay, so we need cap collector rank two. Oh, actually, thinking about it, I'm going to assume it's worthwhile building the emporiums because I've had loads of comments about traders and rank level four traders and making sure you get them. I'm going to assume that they need the best shops to sell their wares at. So. I think I can probably get Cap Collector. Yes, I've got two points, so one, two. And I'm going to assume that that's worthwhile doing, that if you're going to do them, you may as well go 
all in. So there's a general trader. Armor. Gosh, look how much how many bottle caps you need for these. Weapons. So three thousand. Three thousand. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Oh, a bar. We can put that up on our rooftop terrace. Yeah, so that's nine thousand so far. Clinic. Ten thousand eight hundred. And a thousand. Wow, so you need like twelve thousand caps in order to do all these. Right, okay. That's uh interesting. Well that's well well above our pay grade at the minute, so but it's fine because I'll build I'll at least set up this those places for them. And then yeah, we'll uh we'll have to just slowly add to it over time. So, right. I may not build all of these, but I'll show you kind of what I'm doing. I may build a couple and then you kind of get the gist. Because uh, I was watching... I can't claim this idea, but I was watching a few of... You no know, respawns videos a few weeks ago. When I was just trying to learn like the basics of building. And he had quite a simple store design that I actually quite liked. That was looked relatively easy to set up, so... I'm just going to try and replicate that. And now the doorway needs to be at the back. I have to rethink placement a little bit because I don't really want them. The store, yeah, they're off, they're off into a uh, dodge these huge, humongous pillars to get in. I'm assuming they're going to be able to get in here. It's not too much of a. It's not in the way, is it really? Uh, no, that one's falling apart. Quite large. Maybe we'll go with this one that's a bit lower. And then... I'm going to build one shop because I just want to test this works. Where are they? Stores. So I'm assuming trade is just like general goods. So we'll go with that one for now. And it's this one that I want. But it's not going to go in, so... I think this is where... Wow, yeah, bottle cap 1500 re removed. That is a lot. I think this is where I need to do the rug glitch and yeah a few have said I've been doing this wrong so I'm going to try and hopefully do it the right way so I've got I've been hard selecting like that but apparently you're supposed to do this and then I think if you select this does it pick the whole lot up Try that again. Assuming this is how you do it. Do I need to like come at it at an angle maybe? Yeah, 
Now that's not right, is it? Because it's it should if I'm do if it works correctly. I'm told this won't light up, and only this will. So I'm obviously not doing it right. No, that's not right. I might have to look into actually how you do it. So let's just see if it works the old way. The way I was doing it, the wrong way. So if I can at least get it in, then I can, I can look at actually how I'm supposed to do this properly. But yeah, I'm told it's a lot easier to place them in. Is that right? Can't really see what the shop it is. I don't know if it is it supposed to have like a name on the front or is so I saw some of them had names but I don't know if this one does. But yeah, I think that's generally the idea. Maybe I can pull it back a little bit because it's sort of semi sticking through. But yeah, I need to um I'll need to properly look into how to do the rug glitch. I mean it all all I've seen online is that it's really quite temperamental on yeah, this is the front, isn't it? Maybe I maybe I put it the wrong way around actually. Maybe it's good that we're checking this, because that does say general trader on the front. So yeah, this I think should be the back. I very nearly did it wrong there. That would have been a wouldn't have worked very well if it was uh, facing the wrong way. Yeah, videos I've seen online just say that it's really temperamental on PC. I don't know if that's true or not. The glitch is a lot easier to do on a console. I mean, these videos are quite old now. Most of no respawns videos are like. Eight years old. How's that not going in now? Is that because of the rug, maybe? The rug's like in the floor, isn't it? Try this way, because we had a bit more success this way. go this is working a bit better all that pillars not in a good place so if I can just line this up and then oh man that, <laughs> that pillar is not in a good place right we might have to come at it at an angle let's get it so it disappears at the same point it's about there. Try that. Hey, there we go. That's right. Yeah, so basically... I'll probably replicate this a few times. And just have them like... Maybe have like a couple lined up against this wall. And then maybe a few in here. I probably need to reposition that because I don't really like how it's set up. Maybe I could try and get it in here. That will be quite cool. Don't know how possible that will be with it the way it is. Maybe I'll have to just rebuild it. But yeah, this is the kind of gist I'm going for. Thank you. 
It's not central, is it? But yeah, quite like that idea. So yeah, get some stores set up around here. This is going to slowly overtake Sanctuary if I'm not careful in terms of place. Uh, yeah, like main settlement. But I think now. Let's uh, yeah start wiring this place up. Gonna place lights around the outside, I think. Is what I'm thinking anyway. connectors down and at least uh, I can start to manoeuvre wires around. will be making use of the wire glitch in this as well. I won't be doing the invisible one because I, I want the wires to be visible because I quite like the that sort of scrappy raider look and I think it'll be cool to have them running around. It'll suit the aesthetic but I'll be, I'll be making use of the one that allows you to go through the floors and buildings. I want to run wires around the outside and then I'll do the buildings as well. I'm going to need power in this shack as well, aren't I? So maybe I should run one to here. Or will. I think the, the fact that these are here probably will actually power the shack anyway. So if I get one in this corner. And then I'm going to try and run them behind this building. Uh, 
Yeah, this is going to be tight, but I should be able to do it. Uh, I don't want to get myself stuck down there. Where's that one there? So, let's get one in this corner. There's a lot of bushes around here. Don't know if I'll need to run them around there. Maybe we'll stop here because we've got one there, haven't we? I don't know how necessary it'll be to place them down there. Right, let's just try wire this up now. So. I need to be in workshop, don't I? Place this through the wall. There we go. Uh, I mean, I don't want to teach people basics here, but... If just if you don't know how to do that. Uh, if I just go back into build mode, get rid of that. Obviously normally when you select a wire or a conduit, don't you need to wire it. Like if I select this conduit here, it says attach wire. If I click that, you see a wire, don't you? Now, if I try and run that to here, you get a collision, don't you? It's not gonna work. So, if you point at the conduit that you want, but then select the wire, so you want to be close to the wire, you don't want to be like over here, you have to be really close to the conduit. Now you notice how attach wire is not there on the bottom. There you can see attach wire. Now you can't, but if you select it anyway, if you've done it right, you'll hear the spark. You won't see the wire. But you see, you can sort of see the sparking. Now, you can do it, and you can pull this any length you want. Like you can, get, you can select these will run for, like oh, I could probably run one the entire length of the settlement doing it this way. Yeah, that's a little bit too far, isn't it? So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to employ that glitch now. There we go. All right, so now I want to run them through a building. So I need to do the wire glitch now. And what this is going to do is it's going to run it underneath the floor, and we won't see it. Or most of it. As you see there, it's disappearing. So that will be drooping under here now. And you see it pop up again there, but it's not visible. It does feel weird to be sort of trying to show what to do in this game. I feel like the... I've always felt like the one that is shown <laughs> what to be doing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to... I just wanted to say that just in case someone's watching that didn't, didn't know how to do it. Because I've seen that a few times on my videos, like... Stuff mentioned... People didn't know how to do it. So 
that one hidden. Yeah, look at that. Can't even see it. That's what we want. This one isn't going to connect, is it? Because they're going around a corner. So I'm going to have to do it this way. So now that those bushes are showing up. There we go. So that's going to clip slightly through the wall, but not a huge amount. Get that above the door. That's not going to interrupt, is it now? Because we did it so it opens out. That's fine. Didn't want, it, didn't want the door to like come through the wire. That one's a bit too far. There we go, so that's the outer wall done. Uh, now we need to do some of the inner inner areas. So the way I'm gonna do this is probably just to have almost like street cables, so similar to how obviously these run on the outs on the outside. I'm probably going to run cables along the along from pylons, I think, and then try and run them in straight lines. So at least it sort of semi makes sense. So uh, let's place our first one. Let's place one at this corner. Have it just so it's out ever so slightly. Cause we'll run one from this building to it. Right, and then to get power. To these buildings, we're going to go Should we go in front of the building or should we go here? I think we might go here In fact, no, for this building, what I will do is I'll employ these Just because it gets them out of the way quite low on ceramic aren't I? I'm going to have to get some more of that. Yeah, it might not go there. Because what I can then do is I can run them Can I run one underneath? There's not really anything to attach it to is there? What about on the roof? Let's just go up the stairs. Maybe on here is probably the best place for it. 
on the side of the building. I don't really like that it clips in like that, but... Place it on the side there. So, connect this one up. Is that too far? No. We can get under it as well. It's not too much of an obstruction. Maybe if we do away with that. Place this here. Another one of these. The sun's in a horrible place. Then it'll be less of an obstruction now. It's kind of going through there, but I don't really mind. Right, and then what we can do now is I can feed them upstairs. We can get power to the upper buildings. Should we place this one? Maybe on this side here? Might have to clip it through the wall. Oh no. No, it's not gone through the wall. That's good. Right, and then from here... Really want to place one on that little, yeah, the top of there. Let's get it right in the corner. I can run them along here then. doesn't like that one. Oh no, we've fallen down. Right, how should we do it now? Do we just run one? Maybe we run this one just so at least it looks a bit more believable. Uh, where is it? Can we run it under here? I know I'm using more materials than I probably need, but I'm just thinking it might at least look a bit better. Will they connect up? Come on. It's not liking me uh, selecting that one. There we go. Right now I just need to 
Oh no, we've fallen off. I just need to run it round the other side of the building. And then that should be mean that we can get lighting upstairs. No problem. So, if I run one from here, I don't think... If I run it from there, I bet I can run it through the wall and you wouldn't even see it. So let's do... this. Will this one go on here? connect it to that. Where's that wire? Ah, oh, no. It, you can see it. It's, yeah, clipping far too low there. Right. Let's uh, not do that. Oh, no, we don't want to scrap the shack wall. We're on the wire. Too bad. I can live with that. should be enough now because I can probably run that last one I've just selected back to one of the first wires. I think that may be enough. We'll leave it at that for now. We'll see how it works when we start putting lights in and whether I need to get some sort of conduit up here. And what I'm going to do now, because I've run wires along here, let's just get one on this side, if it'll allow it. Now I'm going to run power along here. I just think it'll look better. See if I have like... Maybe one here. Uh, we'll go... And then what halfway in the middle maybe? Uh, it's probably about, what, about there. I don't know. Let's see if this is works. Yep. Yeah, and then we can run it across here. Uh, that's a bit, a little bit low, isn't it? Can I lift that up? Try and get it in this corner, maybe. Yeah, at least it's a bit higher now. And 
then from here... Should now be able to run it along this wall. Oh, no, I don't like that. It's like really floating. Put it on here. I just need one under here now. So I think I'll probably put a light in this shack. I wall this off by the way, so this now at least is an enclosed abode you say the word probably put like two beds in here and then the other room at the back will just be like storage or something so we are nearly out of ceramic I'm gonna go down that one, does it? Right, that should be enough power. Maybe we just need a little bit on the greenhouse, but what I can do is I can try select, start putting some lights out. We'll see whether we can get this to work. So. Anywhere that's not lit up, I know we need a a light. Uh, sorry, more conduits. So far, so good. What should we put in here? Another one of these? Just the one? Or should we go both sides? I don't like fitting these to metal, but we'll go with it. It's either that or I'll just go with like one of these, but might reserve them for pure for like actual houses I really need one in this corner do we it's not really a corner we're going to be doing a great deal in
kind of going a bit mad with the lights, but I do think it'll look good at night when it's light and when it's all lit up. Seem to put them on those walls there. Like it. Hey, we've leveled up. Leveled up by placing lights around. What a, uh, what a time to be alive, eh? we do in the greenhouse I think maybe these just along the top because normally my greenhouse is at a built at sanctuary I had upper levels so I could run like the they almost look like heat lamps didn't they I think they were these ones I kind of ran them along didn't I and then it was almost like they were yeah sort of helping with the the growth of the uh, flora but don't really have that option now so I think we'll just stick these up all right yeah they sort of semi in the same place aren't they one's a bit high try and get it in line with the uh, the beam that runs across Should we run along here? One of these? We can get eight more lights out before we are, yeah, out of time. <laughs> I'll have to get some glass, copper, and ceramic I think that'll do what I am going to do as well is Let's just get one out here as well. Not that we're trying to signpost the fact that 
we have a nice settlement, but... Yeah, I don't really like it there. Yeah, that'll do. It'll help when I'm trying to work out where my door is when I'm coming back here at night. Right, so what I need to do then, I need to... Yeah, we need to get some... Uh some materials don't we what should we do in here I wonder I think I'm going to place beds there and there so and then maybe here have the living space so let's put the light over here because I don't want it I don't want the beds lit up Right, we are now out of copper, so probably a good time to sleep, I would say, but I think that's probably... We've made a good start anyway. And I th it looks... Uh, they look awesome at night when they're all uh, lit up. I need, I need to get some more pylons because I want to run one along here and then probably down and, like, round this section as well, so... Yeah, we'll go sleep and, yeah, watch this space. Right, let's get finishing our lights. What I'm going to do, because I just like the one, I like it when there's ones outside. I'm going to stick one on here as well. I think they look a bit nicer, a bit more welcoming, so we'll get doors on these eventually. Where should we put one here? on the outer pillars maybe yeah, they're a bit wonky get you a bit lower that's better right another house so probably put a bed in here maybe down at the bottom Maybe a few more beds. I need, I need most of my beds. I'm probably going to have to put in here. I think. What should we do? Where should we put you? Maybe we'll just have it like in the middle. Because they give off a fair bit of light. These so. a light down here Get some, some ceiling fans on the go. Look at this. This is going to be our bar, isn't it? So, yeah, we're definitely going to uh, get some ceiling fan action. Look at that. I mean, it is kind of floating a little bit. Let's just get it. Why are, we, why are we struggling so much to do this? Right, let's do it like that. 
kind of f floating, but I don't really mind. Yeah, we'll 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 pretend that it's not floating. Mind clipping these along here. Oh, that's that. <laughs> that was a bit went a bit wonky. Why is that like super floating? I don't like that. It's better. My bar's gonna be here, I think, and then, then this will be like tables. Go with them or them. We will go with those. The red ones. don't think I'm going to stick one on there. I think I might just leave that open. I haven't decided yet. Could go with that. Steel door. Look, kind of looks a bit weird with the wooden effect. Do you get doors in warehouse actually? I wonder. So that's what we built it in, didn't we? Yes, you do. Right. Maybe we'll get a glass door on. Was it warehouse or was it barn? I can never remember. No, it's definitely not barn. That's all right. I'm going to leave these open, I think. We don't need a door on them. That's a little bit too low for my liking. Come on, let me select the wire. I wonder. Just pull them a little bit closer. It's 
still quite low, isn't it? I wonder if we can use the ceiling here. It might look a bit weird if I'm dropping them, going up and then down. I don't really want to use the large ones because I don't like the look of them. Quite ugly. Maybe what we're going to have to do is assume that if I pull this out a little bit and have this sat here, maybe I'll just run the power behind and I'll run it from the floor, potentially, is what I could do. I do like having these here. Maybe I could just, I suppose I don't need to run it all the way round, I could just run it like that. It'll provide power to them anyway, as, as long as there's one here. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that in there now, I might pull that out, I think. I might put my, my stores... If I can, this terrain's a bit of going to be a bit of a pain to work with because it's super, super hilly. But maybe if I can get them along here, and then I can do something else with the forecourt. If you're wondering, I'm probably not going to do a great deal with the with the inside either. This room, 100% is going to get used. But... I don't think I'm going to use this. I'm undecided yet. We may, we, maybe we will, but... which side I'm going to have the, the head on but I'm probably going to do well, at least one light here above each bed maybe I think that's probably good for lights now don't think we need any more so now it's pretty much decoration we can do Let's start out with in here. Cause I should have the crops for this now. Oh, water's something as well that I need. I need to do water, don't I? Can you put water on this settlement? Yeah, you can. I'd forgotten about that.
Right. Uh, what, what is that? Oh, razor grain. I've not got razor grain. Right, mutt fruit. Don't want it sticking through the uh, the glass like that. So that last one I did is sticking through and the one over there. Should be all right. It's good that they'll, they fit together because they're absolutely massive. Yeah, right, corn. Do I want all potatoes now? Or do I want to mix it up? Can you get six per plot? Oh, you can. Maybe I need to do more corn then. I always thought like four was the amount, was the max amount on potatoes. Probably get more on corn actually, on uh, mutt fruit as well. Corn's a bit of a, a bit of a dick, isn't it? I don't know if corn will allow it. Just to keep them happy, let's plant some of the stuff as well. So, carrots don't want to go down. We get three in. Yes. Right, what else have we got? Gourds. Oh, these are massive. I don't know if this is going to work. Can I get gut? Can I get m melon or even bigger? I think melon pretty much need to stay on their own, don't they? Maybe I'll try and get two gourds in and then we'll leave it at that. No, I seem to want to do it. case then can we just get a massive melon down oh it seems to want to do it there that's good so knowing that it'll put it there but it won't it didn't want to put it further in One melon, three carrots, six taters, 
four corn, four mutt fruit. Fire barrels, definitely want some of them dotting around. An oil lamp in a wooden wo greenhouse, probably a bad idea, but we might do it anyway. Got some crates knocking about. Why won't it let me put them in the corner? Is that because of the grass coming through the floor, I wonder? I'd ideally want the smaller ones, but do not seem to want me to do it. So maybe we just go... Go heavy on the, uh, The clutter. <laughs> Sticking through ever so slightly, but it's fine. I'll uh, we'll deal with it. I just like adding a adding a bit of clutter. I just think it makes them a bit brings them alive a little bit. Rather than just it being sort of plain and a bit boring. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get the pool table in somewhere, hundred percent. Where's that dangerous oil lamp? Alright, there's our basic greenhouse. That's quite cool, I think. Quite pleased with that. Let's get another light out here. So we haven't we ain't got enough lights yet, have we? Always go for more lights. Right. Farmsteading. So we have here... How many crops do we have? So these count as 0.5, don't they? 
So how many can we get? So 0 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, and then these count as 1, don't they? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need, we're going to need two, two farmers, aren't we? I don't like all this uh, grass sticking through here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, right, so first things first, beds. These use less materials than these ones. However, I don't think they fit the aesthetic really, do they? I don't want to use bags because I'd rather just use a bed. I think I'm going to go with these, even though they're the most resource intensive. I don't know if people are going to be able to use these and fit and actually get into them, but... We can try. Maybe we'll put them here and here, actually. That'd be a better use of space. We'll stick them at the end of the bed, actually. Containers. And steamer trunk, that's a bit big, really. And what can we have here? Maybe a desk of some sort. Ugly that one, isn't it? What's that one? There's a desk, but that is that's even worse. As is that one. Not a huge fan of some of these designs. I've not really delved greatly into the desk. Uh, not desk, sorry. The yeah. Uh, a lot of the decorations. I've still not finished off Sanctuary, but... That one's alright. Let's stick that one in. Maybe we, go with a maybe we should go with a dining room table, maybe, or something. Yeah, we'll go with a table and chairs. Rather than a desk. I suppose there's going to be two people in here, isn't there, so...
paintings, posters, signs. Oh wow, look at all this. Definitely not looked at these before. <laughs> Giant picture of a cat. What's that say? Notice employees must. Can't see what that says. Must wash hands. Employees only. Please, no smoking. Oh, well, these are quite cool. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, 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 kit, I'll use all these and kit things out. New Coca Cola clock. Get one of them in. Yeah, right, what was I looking for anyway? Getting distracted by the uh, the signs. Uh, oh, I know what I was looking for. It's under, be under furniture, under containers. I assume that people are living out of things like suitcases and whatnot. Vault. Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't want a vault girl and a vault boy. I'll go for a flag though. Doesn't want to clip in, does it? There. Does it wonder if it's because I put the table. It kind of sticks through the wall, doesn't it? I'll put that back. I have to move these chairs now. Should have learned not to uh, mess with things. that for now I may do more off camera but I don't want to uh, I don't want to spend up too much time per yeah per building what I will do actually is I'll have, I'll have some floor coverings in at least Add. Can we get some like mats down, maybe? Rugs. What's that one? Can't tell what they are. That one's red, blue. Are they like actual floor mats, like gym mats? Yeah, we'll go with this one.
Right, guard post. So... Have a small table, maybe, in here. That was the table I used earlier. Is it this one? Maybe we'll have a smaller version of that. Something like this, maybe. Why is that disappearing? God, this is quite a lot of options, isn't there, in chairs and things like that. Absolutely loads. I'll just go with the ones I picked earlier. I'm going in this corner, actually. Yes. sofa down here and assuming that maybe people do like shift work and they need somewhere to lie down for a second and then here we're gonna put some storage containers maybe a, actually maybe a desk I need to I need to build a bathroom as well, don't I? That's one thing I've not done. Didn't really think of a uh, where we're gonna uh, yeah do uh, build a bathroom. Is there like an actual terminal that you can, uh, like, like a computer? It was that one, but it comes on a com on a um, on a stand. radio in here. Dudes are going to need a radio. I don't want to go in, does it? I 
wonder why that doesn't want to go down. What else have we got going on? Grill. Another trash can. Will this one go down? Is this one going to go down easier? Oh yeah, that one's a lot better. Trusty minute minute men flag up if it'll uh, allow it. Place these on any of the shelves or on the top. It seems to want to go up there. gone dark again and I don't want to build in the dark. I built in the dark for the lights but that was only because I wanted to show it lit up. So I think we'll sleep and then we will yeah carry on. Carry on adding the decorations in. Right, are we happy with this room at least? Is there anything else I want to add in here? Could add maybe like a weapon rack in or something. Can't remember where the weapon racks were. The under no, they won't be under signs. On the display, yeah. Weapon racks. Get the big ones in, or are they too too large? That go on there. Yeah, that'll do. Sure about these paintings, <laughs> especially the, some of the yeah this one. Oh wow, that was a bit intense. In the abstract section. Oh now we're talking. Look at that for a uh, mustache. 
Oh, we've got an even more impressive one here. Posters have we got? Last radius fun for the whole family. What's that? V be vigilant communism is coming. Oh my gosh. Please light up, I wonder, because it's like got a conduit on top. Nuka Cola. Large coffee and a jelly donut at Slocum Joe's. I think we might be going back through them again now. Yeah, we are. Get another clock up. Uh, right, I think we're probably done with this room. Let's just carry on filling in some of the other areas. So, what do we want up here? I haven't really set out with a plan of what I want. I'm just kind of looking at the space and just thinking what, what shall I fill it with? Nuka World Miscellaneous, what's in here? Oh, just a flag, is that it? That's a bit boring. Giant ashtray. Oh, cigarettes, we're not going to get some of them down. See as we find them everywhere, these machines. Don't want to go there, does it? That'll do. Feels like we should probably have some sort of containers and things here because we've got a we've got a guard post here, so we're gonna want You're gonna assume that there's potentially gonna be yeah, maybe some like ammo crates or something. that down does it the 
We'll stick you there. Right. Here we are, ammo crates. Yeah, I'm not going to go like completely mad, but at least it sort of makes it feel a bit more, a bit more realistic, doesn't it? Espresso machine. Interesting. Where is the. I've already gone past it. Yeah, fire barrels. Let's get a few of these dotted around. Should we put you maybe get one in this corner? Too near the shacks. <laughs> See the whole place go up. Right, we've decorated this thing. I'm probably not going to do... I might do in this one. But I'm not going to do in these ones until I've sorted out these bush issues. We can do in here. Oh, 
Oh, nothing more can be built. I've just seen that sign now. Yeah, so I need to sort out my build limit, don't I? Okay, no problem. We'll, we'll uh, yeah, do that. And then reconvene. Right, that's our build limit reduced, so we can carry it on. And I was going to sort out these, so... Let's get some floor coverings down. Put these in here, that's a bit big. Quite like this one, I wonder if we can get that in, maybe. Wonder if we can we get it in using one of these? I've done it. This is how you're supposed to do it. Is it going to work? Maybe because it's not a flat surface. Maybe it's not. Yeah, because if I pick that up, that's going to move that now. Let's try and do it. Ah, oh, yeah, so it's like it's seeing that as the is at floor level. I wonder. Let me just test something. So I've got these here. Try and move this to that level. Yeah, because it's it's seen the rugs, but it's not it's not flat, is it? I need to try and get it. It needs to ideally be on a flat surface. Yeah, if I could get that, if I could get the rug. If we come at it this side. Hey, there we go. So that is how you're supposed to do the mat, the rug glitch. Oh no, it's moved. It's gone and lifted it up because I've taken it off. Ah, why has it done that? Would I, would I have to leave the rug there? That's annoying if you have to leave it where it is. If we put it side on, at least it looks like it's supposed to be there broadly. Mm, don't want to do it that time. No. Let's do it this way. Can I move you now? Yes.
I just placed another one down. I didn't mean to do that. All this to put one uh, one mat in. Right, those stairs work. Right, I'm going to assume this is some sort of just storage facility. So. Let's go into furniture, containers, let's just get this full, full of stuff. Why do you not want to go down? What is... Can't be colliding with anything, surely. You don't like it at the back. Oh, you'll go in. leave this one and I'm going to leave this one until I've sorted the bushes out um, but then in here let's just get few basic decorations in at least. Gonna get a radio in here actually. Right, let's do the other house. Or the houses, I should say. Drugs. <laughs> What's that? Lobster. Lobster roll. Gun shop. Ice cream. Toss challenge. Prizes. <laughs>
Oh, like these like signs you can put on stuff. Oh, I could put them on like containers and that. Okay. Right, yeah. Uh, this this house anyway. So we need a couple more beds. A Nuka girl picture on the wall. Baseball. Do these light up? I wonder. Or do you have to? Do you have to physically light them? Let's just test that out. Ah oh, yeah, so they actually light up. Interesting. Okay. Alright, what do we want to do with this space here? Let's see what we do want. Let's at least get some floor coverings in. Sneaky suspicion that's floating because of the rubbish. I think it is. Maybe we won't put one there. We are going to get. Let's get rugging.
Hey, we've got power. It just says please stand by, but we have power. Uh, why will it not sit? We'll go with it there. That'll do. Um, right. And then... Shelves. Get magazine racks. Yeah. Stick a magazine rack down. Uh, right, what do we want here? Just gonna put some mats down, but I think we'll we'll leave it. Display cases. I thought I saw somewhere like a um uh, was it like weights? What were they under? Were they under furniture? Miscellaneous? Because I think the weights raise your camp happiness, aren't they? Ah oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we'll stick some of these down. Why not? What is that flag doing? Why is it like... I'm moving this because I'm like, I don't want it to be in the way of the flag. The flag's just like going insane. Right, there we go. Simple, simple abode number two. Uh, this is probably going to be more storage, I think. Although, I may. Maybe we just stick a few more few chairs in here. Just having like a little breakout area. More comfort. Comfort equals happiness. Don't really know why. I feel like we need a light in here though. Didn't really do a didn't bother with a light, did I? Only space that doesn't have a light. <laughs> Milk machine is that or VM VIN machine? Nuka Cola. There's the milk machine. I need a dog house as well, don't I, really, for a. Uh, what's he called? Dog meat. Right, 
Alright, let's get up here. What can we have here, I wonder? Maybe here, actually, I'm going to do... These shelves for... Can you put anything on them? You can put stuff on these, can't you? Magazine racks. Maybe we'll have... Maybe I'll just display my stuff here. Where's the... Where's the bobblehead stand? Ah, yeah, here. Probably have to put this down first, won't I? Thinking about it. That's what I'm going to do is, yeah, let's move this away for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this in. Uh, then... these two next to each other. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. That's good. That's just a weird angle. better. And the bobble, hand, bobble head stand. Put this at an angle maybe. Maybe we put these either side. cars then what I can do I can put like a reading chair or something here get that little table in maybe Yeah, I'll fill this up. Fill this up with magazines, probably. 
Yeah, right. As you can tell, I'm just like sticking crates everywhere. Oh no, I've done that again. Backed off the uh, straight off. Let's do up here and then we'll do the that house last. So this is going to be I don't think I've got the cash to build it yet. I might do just yeah, is it food and drink? Oh yeah, I can do it actually. Bar. Where do they serve from? I'm going to assume. Yeah, maybe we put it on this side. It doesn't seem to want to go there, so maybe that's maybe they have to walk around that side. Maybe they're pre-programmed to go around that way or something. Running very low on bottle caps. So there's nothing, no other crazy weapons that appear in shops that I want to buy. Uh, I don't know how this bar functions, like where... I'm going to assume that if they're going to sit anywhere, it would be here. How close can you get? There we go, look at this. Uh, these walls are... Now I've got a bar here, these shack walls are... What did that say? Clamped items moved to workbench. What was clamped? Clamped items were stored in workbench. Oh, had I done... It was the lighting, wasn't it? Did I clipped light into them? So I'll have to redo that. But yeah, those structures were not doing it for me anymore. I want these ones out. Because I can stick stuff to these.
Right. So. How had we done it? Let's just go to conduits and see how many are here. Two of these. So I must have had them. Under there maybe. I'm probably going to need these ones now. Oh no, I've done it again. Uh, right, so... If I place one... don't like it on that wall. Oh yeah, it's going through the stairs and it's going to have to glitch it. I'm wondering if I can just get this one straight through. I'll go through the wall, but... Don't think it's going to be visible. I hope. Alright, it comes through here, but... Yeah, that's fine. I'm prepared to live with that. Right, bar area. So, what do we want on the walls? Decorations. Maybe a flag of some kind? go on that side. It's probably because of the bar. Mounted creatures. Oh my gosh, you can put a ghoul head on the wall. That is freaky. Some of these I don't actually have. Maybe because I've not got the... Yeah, the required item, Mylurk meat. Can't see what half of them are. Don't want paintings. Is this something called, that I saw earlier called like neon? Get a neon sign. Or not? Do we not? Is that not allowed? Ah, here we are. <laughs> nice, I like that. Oh, so you can actually like write your own words. Just write bar. Or booze. Or liquor or something like that. I don't know. Open bap. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's the R. I got kind of, I got confused by the, the wire for it. I thought it was an R. I'm going to do it in red.
Right, tables. I'll use the one that I keep using everywhere. Because what I want to do is... Oh, it's not under there, is it? Is it under this one? Ah no, where is it? Where is the pool table? It's under furniture, tables. Yes. that fully so what I want to do is I want to place it on it and let's turn this at an angle How should we put it in maybe it takes up a bit too much space if you do it at an angle actually doesn't it let's do it horizontally I'll move the shack wall then, shack floor, instead of grabbing the rug. I'll do. Right, what else do we want? Get another cigarette machine because why not? Ice, that's going to be in the way of the Minutemen flag. Right, now we just need some tables. Yeah, placements probably. Okay. Uh, and now some chairs.
don't know if these are going to be functional or not, whether there's not enough space for people to sit at, but... I don't know how uh, ridiculous the NPCs are for, like, just falling over things and not being able to get in. But yeah, anyway, right. I think... That's me more or less done. Uh, oh no, no, sorry. No, we are not done. I'm getting ahead of myself. How many beds have we got in so far? Five. So I think ideally I want at least... I probably want to get two in here, I think. So, first one can go down in this corner. Another one. I'm going to assume people can get into these, and it's not like they're just not going to be able to do it. Yeah, but this, I want this over here. I'm going to put it on this wall, maybe. a bit high. I'll stick it here. At least there's some light down there. And put one here. A little bit less private, but oh well. Like getting close to the uh, walls sometimes, them do they?
Why won't you go anywhere? Mr. Nuka Cola. Doesn't like being in a water near a wall, does it, for some reason? Some sort of collision maybe. Is it that wire? The one that's hanging through the ceiling? I don't want to go on this wall either. You'll go in. Milk vending machine. Wonder if we can glitch it in. Answer to that would be yes. Tell you what we've not added in here actually. We haven't added a Maybe we should have like another couple of sofas and stuff. If we move if we move these over. Get them in this corner. Are you gonna go over now? <laughs> no you're not, I of course you're not. Why would you? Why would you go over? Make me get my bloody mat out again. Then if I yeah pull you over,
we'll get rid of one of them. Just of the one. No, oh, well, I can probably get in this corner then. Uh, is another like telly or something? TV. Uh, no, they're not in here, are they? They're in furniture. Miscellaneous. Got one of these. Radiation King. So many, so many options of chair. Right, I think we're done. I don't think we need to mess around anymore. I think we've got a... Uh, yeah, look, it's looking pretty good. I must say. I may do a little bit more myself, but I think you kind of get the gist. So, what I may do as well once I've finished and I'm happy with everything, I might just do a quick, like, settlement tour with everything in, but... I think that's actually... Yeah, it's come out really well. I'm really, uh, really pleased with this. I'm sure about having this. This whoever's sleeping here is uh, going to uh, have drawn a uh, short star, haven't they? The other one on an early night, but. Oh, one thing I do actually need to do. I will do before I forget is let's get our water in because I don't have any water yet yeah, I'm going to get a scavenging station as well because I don't think I have one of these in here I might go in this corner yes No, I don't want it in there actually. We'll stick it outside. Can go there. This can go. We'll just stick this here for now. Right, water. Try and get it so the... Yeah, the uh, conduits on this side. What I want is I want them up here. So that requires four power. How much have I got? 20. So I can have a few of them at least.
try and get them a similar high. I'll... Yeah, that'll do. I don't think it's quite as high, but there. Right. Connect these up. Do this one from here. There we go. So, our water's 20. Our food production is not going to be as high as 20, is it? So, our defense at the minute is high enough. Our defense rating, at least. So, all that's left now to do is, yeah, get some people in and finish up. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching my Red Rockets, yeah, build video. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do more of these in the future, but I think for now at least we're going to get back to, yeah, going to get back to doing some missions. I'm itching to get into, yeah, finding out, catching up with Piper because it's been a while since we actually did the uh, the Nick Valentine mission, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll be doing that next at least. Um, but yeah, look out for when I do a settlement walk round of Red Rocket as well. So yeah, um, I'm Mike the Gaming Dad. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.